So if you're like me, you're probably waiting for the Fujifilm X106. I pre-ordered on the day of. Now, I did not like stay up late at night, around like 1 or 2 a.m. in the morning to pre-order it. I woke up the next morning and pre-ordered it. But yours might be different. However, I got it on VNH. And when I first saw the like the pre-order, everything was like, okay, we're gonna ship out like on the 28th. But then now, on the day of 28th, it actually shows everything as back ordered, which is super annoying. Let me know in the comment section if you got your Fujifilm X106 already, or if you're waiting like I am right now and everything's showed as back ordered. Obviously, it's not gonna be shipped, and I have no idea when the camera is gonna be out. You're probably in the same shoes as I am since you're watching this video. Now, I've been using the X100T ever since it came out. That was like, wow, that was like, what, eight years, nine years ago? I don't even remember. Like back then, nobody knows about this camera and it was easy to get my hands on it. I had it for years. The funny thing is that back then, there wasn't that much accessories to the camera and I never got any. So it was kind of interesting this time around because I'm like, whoa, I'm getting a new camera and you know, there, there are so many accessories now. Like, well, obviously the battery is a bit different and this one's actually not that new. This is the same one as the X-T5, I believe, but it's good that they're using the same battery. Like for the longest time, the only accessory I got for the X-100T the, was a shutter button. And I think this is what that is. It's just really hard to get it out. And I actually lost mine a long time ago. So hopefully I don't lose these. I got three this time. I'm actually not that big of an accessory type of guy. But there are just so many now with the for for the Fujifilm X100 series, like that the amount of accessory you can get is insane. So this time around, I decided to really give it a try and like see if they're actually that good or useful. I guess in a way, it's more fun to play around with the camera. It's like dressing up your camera and then I don't know, but it does look good. Some of them, and gotta say, it's a uh, it's a thing now, so I also got a square hood from Nisi. Now this is not a sponsored video. I've been using Nisi for a long time for my Canon camera, the full frame, and pretty much all of my work I used the, the, the Nisi filter because it's that good. They're just reliable. They did not send me this, like none of these are sent. All of these are bought with my own money. And this video is kind of funny because I have all the accessories except the camera itself, like all the leads are here, I just don't have the camera. And perhaps I'm not the only one. However, Nancy made these and I saw that, I was like, oh, okay, square hood. Okay, that looks nice. And one of the reasons why I wanted to get this was just to try out to see like how useful this is. And on top of that, I also got the Black Mist 1 4th from Nancy as well. And as you know, I won't be able to test any of these accessories today, obviously. But like, like like I was mentioned earlier, I'm not that big on accessories. Like for my Ricoh, I, the only accessory, well, I guess there are two, this, this lens cap because there are dust that goes in it, but I don't want to add like a, like, like, like a filter, square hood filter in front of it to kind of like block the dust. So this is what I went with, just, just a metal cap pretty much. This covers the lens and then I keep this inside my pocket. I also don't want it to be too big because I want it, you know, to be pocketable. If it sticks out too much, it's gonna be weird inside my pocket. And another accessory I have is the Peak Design Anchor. This took me forever to put it on. It was not the easiest anchor to put on, like, let's just put it that way. But it's very useful because I can use this with my wrist strap. Now that's the only thing I have on the Rico, but like with the, with the Fujifilm, there's like, there's a grip that you can add on to it, and then there's like, I don't even know, there are so many. So at the end, I just tried to get the one that I actually will be using, mostly. So these are the ones I have right now, and I'll make more videos once I start using them to, you know, to know and to actually see if they're good enough or if they actually are helpful. Honestly, I feel like at the end of the day, the, the most important one are extra batteries and uh, like a wrist strap or something, or maybe like a like a camera strap, so you can carry it ev like everywhere with you. That's the whole point, right? You want to carry the camera out and bring it out to take photos. If you don't have it on you, or if you don't have it inside, like on, in your hand, you won't be snapping shots. Don't let all these accessories be like 
like a like a I don't know decoration or a jewelry like a watch or something. You want to be able to actually use the camera. And no, before you start asking me, am I gonna replace my Ricoh with the Fujifilm? No, they they are two different cameras. They're they're you know they're both fun, but essentially they are two different systems. Like I can put this in my side my pocket, and there's no way I can put the Fujifilm inside my pocket. Maybe my jacket pocket for sure, but yeah, not not all the time. It's different. It's uh, I'm gonna be honest. I got it just because like. Obviously, it works on YouTube. Like everyone just clicks into it. It's good for views. But however, on the other hand, I've been using it since like the third generation, so I know how good the camera is and how fun it is to play with. As a matter of fact, I started with the Fujifilm X100T, and then for a couple of years, maybe like four or five years later, I picked up the like the Ricoh Jura 3. Obviously, this is not a video you want to watch for like if you want to decide to get the camera or not. If you're thinking about it, you have the budget for it, just get it. You'll, you'll be fine. It's a good camera. You'll be able to create amazing photos out of it. But on the other hand, if you're thinking like, am I going to be benefiting from this camera, then you're probably not going to because you essentially you're not sure and you don't know what, what it's capable of, then maybe it's okay. You probably don't even need the function. Just use your phone to take photos, that's fine too. Or maybe get the Ricoh, this is pocketable. If you want something to be, you know, pocket size. It also has like 28 millimeter and then the other version is the Ricoh Jura 3X, which has the 40 millimeter. Very close to the 35, I say. Now another big fun factor about the Fujifilm is that it has film simulation built inside it. And every camera, every generation, they stuck in like a new, like a brand new film simulation, which is always fun to play around with. Like the Ricoh has them too, just not many. However, Ricoh did like update the old uh, Ricoh Jura 3 with a new film simulation. And that that is very fun and nice to know because like you don't necessarily need to get the newest camera to get new film simulation. However, on the other hand, with the Fujifilm system, you kind of have to get the newest version of the camera in order to benefit from that new film simulation. But then again, like do you actually need that new film simulation? Probably not. If you're shooting raw, you'll be able to you know customize the colors and actually edit your own photos. Not that you don't with the JPEG recipe. They are incredibly useful in my opinion and really really fun to play around with. Speaking of which, I actually almost got this thumb grip, but at the end of the day I didn't get it because I have like a wrist strap. So I thought, well maybe I can just lose this thumb grip. Plus like with the thumb grip it's gonna like cover the dial so it's harder to access. Even though I found this thumb grip called Lens Mate, I believe, where you can like flip it and then you can like adjust the dial. I still didn't get it, which I'll probably regret and get it later on. But as of now, I don't want to get it because I want to actually, you know, get a feel of the camera again to see how the new form factor is because I never played around with the X100V before. I had the T and the form factor is a bit different, just ever so slightly. Like, I guess, let me know. Maybe you know more accessories that I don't know about. If you know any that you're getting or you have that's useful, leave a comment down below and I'll look into it. It'll be fun. I never had like accessory for my like X100T before, so I feel like it's a, it's a good idea to check them out if I'm getting all of these anyways and trying them out. It's a, yeah, it'll be interesting. Since we're unboxing everything already, um, this also showed up on the doorstep. I'm just super excited that this bag is here. If you've been following this channel, you'll know how much I love Shimoda bags. Like the, the details and design and everything, like the fit, they're just so comfortable. 